So let us begin. If anyone else is, uh, all right, why do I still have in my other screen the chat from the last stream I was at? It sucks. Gotta manage your tabs. No, it's, uh, it's, 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 I'm using the mobile version of Twitch and I just, and I just went to that and, and it keeps the chat going. It keeps the other chat from the, from the last time. Yeah, carries over. Which was this Friday. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyway, uh, let us begin because, uh, you, uh, you got, you, you did a lot last session. A what? lot of things happened last session. Uh, you know, artifacts were crushed, limbs were lost. Loved ones were rejected, yet hope somehow smolders and still remains alive somehow. And people were found. Uh, so and some were lost. By the way, I, I'm I'm going to ask you this on on stream. I was going to ask you off stream, but I think this is an important question. Is Q simply going to disappear and never be seen again? Um, for the moment, yes. Okay. Um. Is there a chance that he does come back at some point? Totally possible. Uh, but his plan, such as it is, is that he's doing his own thing. Okay. Oh, yeah. His plan is he's doing his own thing. Like, okay. uh, everyone can, fu can, can fully hear this. He doesn't think he's valuable back in Greyhawk. Back in Greyhawk, he kind of, he helps hunt and kind of guides people. Totally not like one guy specifically put him up for the uh, position of Baron or anything. Hmm. It's true. Uh, but here, he's meant to be here. So sure. if he's, so if something crazy happens in Greyhawk, because he will get, eventually, as we level up, he'll be able to keep tabs on what's going on there. If he needs to go back, he will. I mean, thing to consider is you are across the world. Yeah, but there's the moon gate. He'll figure it out. Will he? He'll find a way. I mean, how many times do you think that moon gate opens a year? I don't know. Yeah, he'll figure it out. He'll figure it out. Uh, if, I need some downtime. If he were if pants, come back. if he were some, if he were, if he, if he did wear pants, he just flies by the seat. So true. let's be let's begin with our introductions. Then uh, let's start with uh, Robert. Okay, uh, I am playing uh, Lael, the elf, the uh, the monk elf, or the melf. I don't know how we're gonna go with that. That's a terrible joke. Mm -hmm. um, he is somewhat contemplative, and he seeks balance within himself. But it is uh, kind of a struggle, mostly because. I guess he has kind of a death wish going on a little bit here. But um, it is a struggle to control and seek that balance right now. All that rage inside. And that's all I got. So we have uh, Justin. All right. I am Justin. I am playing Marcus Olivan. Fine, Ollivander. I have been stuck here for five years. I am a very respectful individual who just wants to check in on how his family's doing. We have Pendrin. I'm playing Barakat, the totally human bard. He who has a secret identity and he who uses words to distract people away from himself and he who has found his mentor. As of just now. About three seconds ago. In game. Yeah. Next up we have Griff. Hey everybody, I'm playing Baron Kicks the Shield, Dragonborn Battlemaster. He's cool and calculating. He believes a hero stands up against all challenges. Those are my command responsibility come first. And I have immense ego and delusions, Granger. Last one, not least, we have uh, Rectus, also known as Theta. Yeah, I'm uh, Gar. I'm a totally human uh, wizard. We're a <laughs> party of totally humans. All humans. <laughs> Are we sure about that? Look, one of me always tells the truth. I'm assuming this is the one that lies. Well, this is the one that just sasses everyone. 
Yeah. That's even better. I'm a man of 17 faces. And one arm. So, uh, let us set up the scene as we were. Uh, you uh, were able to take on the... Thank you. Um, acknowledged. Uh, you were able to take, with help from the uh, Spirit Naga, you were able to take on the uh, missing men and Yanti that were waiting outside. Um, and she said essentially, and also the ogres, let me uh, take care of the ogres here. Why the ogres are on the map la map layer instead of the token layer, I have no idea. Anyway, uh, and she says that in exchange for that, uh, she will, uh, you will have to dispel the green uh, flames, um, douse them or some, do, do something with them so that she may be able to leave. But you find yourself with perhaps not the ability to do so? Can anyone actually do a, a simple dispel magic? Nope. Yeah, I I had sworn Gar had done it before, but I'm clearly just mistaken. I'm I, I am built for my survival by myself in a jungle full of Yanti. Dispel magic was not high high priority. I can imagine. And. I don't think he would even have the capability of having done it before. I don't think that's on his list. So that just leaves Barricat. Uh, yeah, no. Hold I on. Put out probably non-magical flames. Is your mentor a bard? Yes. Maybe he has the spell. He might, in fact, have that spell. I didn't make a stat block or anything for him. So. That's okay. We'll assume that he is at a higher level than you are. Yeah, that makes and, sense. And so, yes, he can have the spell. <laughs> there you go. That might actually solve yeah. the problem. See, and he will, he will, cry, he will uh, uh, in order to not to use all his meager resources, because he doesn't even have his own instrument, um, he will uh, use uh, as a ritual. So it will take a while. I think that's and while fine. while we're waiting, let's show uh, everybody Ikram, uh, his face and his look to everybody. This is well, I didn't put his last name though, or fam uh, family name. Nice. Ikram oh, Amal. yeah, A M A L. Oh, uh, that 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 is a glorious individual. Sure is. I gotta ask, where did you find that art? It looks really good. <laughs> Uh, on Google, I I edited it slightly. Um, oh, really? I, what I gotta do is appreciate that when I showed um Robert yeah. the intro video I made for the Pathfinder game, and he asked me where'd you find the video. I said on Google. Yeah. <laughs> Just on when you Google, all see you know? that when when you all see that intro, you're gonna be like, where the hell did this come from? <laughs> So he sits down and, and concentrates, and then he goes one, to each one of the uh, flames which are around the building. And it takes him the greater part of an hour, because he has to cast each one of them. You know, it takes 10 minutes to prepare each one and then cast it. And then, uh, um, If that's the case, <clears throat> I would have just done a walk around of the space. Mm-hmm. Just passively looking for any writing. The same writing that you found before. Uh, okay. It's in, an old man. Old man. Did we just lose Justin? No, I'm still here. Still here. There's only one answer. This is the land, which also is a name referring to the people. Mm -hmm. Which are of these, uh, of this general uh, 
area. They are, according to the wiki and other sources, roughly uh, modeled on the Aztec. So they fall in the trope of Mayankatec, Aztec, if you will. Okay. Got it. Sort of uh, Central American, Mesoamerican groups between 200 BCE to about 1500 BC, uh, CE. As long as there's nothing disconcerting, nothing that catches my eye, I do that. Um, I may not be able to speak the language, but I can read it. Yeah, it's just uh, names, uh, conventions of families. Um, very ancient names. Uh, but that's about it. Um, if it's going to take the an hour or more, or the better part of an hour, mm -hmm. I'll go around and I'll, I'll honor the families that were lost the, in, the, in the process of checking. And then when I get back, um, well, I am glad to see that everyone here is safe. Um, now that we don't have a, anyone following us or anyone who I do not wish to hear, did you have any questions for me that I might be able to answer a bit more candidly? I, I'm assuming at this point, Lail has been just constantly meditating. Mm -hmm. So he's kind of like, I guess, like in his own la la land at the moment, unless you need him. Yeah, well, who's your patron? Yeah. Oh, I can completely answer that one. Um, I don't know the most about them. I have not had a chance to actually research into the their origins, but I believe they're Elvish, uh, Deep Slanesh. So all I know you're down the party is what you're saying. All I know is that I came here. I tried to survive for about a week to a week and a half. It wasn't working, and I almost got captured, so I decided to swim into the ocean. I was not very capable then, and I was saved by a whale that offered me a cha a means to de means to uh, defend myself. So jealous. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Deep. Greatly different. So <laughs> yeah, the other one is like... You had us worried. Yeah. <laughs> what I do. Extreme partiers that you would be. But yes, no. So uh, deep, deep, uh, deep Seychelles, uh through proxy of this great whale, gave me the means to survive. I built upon them, of course, as I pushed and learned, but. Also gave me this lovely book at my side as well. Right now, all you seek to do is return to Greyhawk. Is that right? That is my initial plans. Uh, long term, I'm supposed to find a find a, some place. I don't have any clues. I just know that it is a vast important to uh to my patron, and it's apparently filled with knowledge that must be protected. Well, you wouldn't be the first person around here who seems to be on a quest. But that's... You... I, ha I have plenty of time. I'm still a uh, relatively young man, 22, so... Plenty of time. Well, assuming we can all get out of here. Wait, we're... One piece. Sorry, go back again. You were shipwrecked, you said? No, 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 no. I'm, I'm actually from Greyhawk. Right, that doesn't explain the point that I was just asking. He wants to know how you got here. Oh, um, a teleportation circle was tampered with when there is uh, threats against my family. As far I don't know what happened to my mother and father, but I my sister should still be all right. I hope. Wait, you were all standing in the teleportation circle? No, no, no. My my mother and father stayed back to make sure that I could get to where I was going. My sister was not uh, with us at the time. She was visiting my my grandparents. In Greyhawk? Yes. So you were taking a teleportation circle from Greyhawk to... I don't know where. I don't know where, but it wasn't supposed to be here. It was supposed to be to some sort of family connect who uh, was going to keep me safe for the time being. Uh, 
Um, just given the uh, nature. I'm gonna I'm gonna say that he has like a really really faded picture of what he used to look like. Uh, yeah, that, that was would painted. Be, say that would be what? Yeah, say painted by somebody. Uh, yeah, hundred um, percent. So you have a, you and, have a memento, basically a tiny memento. It looks yeah. Like um, and like he shows it, it looks nothing like him. Yeah, doesn't have the scars. Face. Doesn't have anything like the build. Entirely clean shaven, short haircut. Yeah, artists are shit these days. Don't respect the like, medium. It. It looks like someone who goes through a severe life change. So, like, the base features are the same, but he is just a different person. Yes, I had this uh, painted it, last week. Was that due to the patron, or was that due to just being out here? Um, Probably a combination of both. Why would the patron alter you, then? My guess is the fact that I was going to die. I'd eaten two times in a single week, and I was about to be captured by the Yon T. I I mean, maybe you should have been captured by the Yon T. Apparently they're not down for killing prisoners much anymore. Look back Either at way, the, the dressed-up guy. <laughs> Either way, no, I've focused my time on trying to figure out how the hell to get back. No answers came. Well, assumedly, you don't know the magic of a teleportation circle. Oh, no, I don't. Yes, because if you were able to draw one, you could easily teleport right back to Greyhawk. Um, he will say, oh shit, in Celestial, not even knowing that that was a possibility. Yes, you see, <laughs> teleportation circles have to be established over the course of an entire year, so typically only major settlements or cities have them, Greyhawk particularly, although you can make a temporary one to teleport yourself to one that you're previously aware of. So... Oh, I'm sorry, I don't understand magic that well. I can just... Well, I feel I was explaining it, it pretty much a layman's way, so... Oh, no, it makes sense. You go from one spot to another, but... Uh, no, beyond that, uh, actually, do you know of the status of my sister? If she is alright, if she is still in good, in, in, in good position? I think from our last conversation, I don't think I'd heard your family name before, so I'm afraid I can't say. I'm very curious to see how she is doing. Last she was talking to one of, a, a member of the Winford family, and hopefully that went well. Well, while we cannot teleport straight home, we do have access to advice which should take us home. We Wonderful. Merely Within the next wait. few months. Oh, that's fine. Basically, as long as I have a plan. not in the few next few months. Uh, you do know that the... And this one is very iffy, though. Because you know it takes different uh, celestial phenomena. Uh, the strongest ones are the ones where it's uh, a dual eclipse. But you think you can squeeze by with an eclipse and maybe a new moon. The problem is that I was given all this information, and two out of three are GM Fiat, which is, which is solstices, which are completely untracked to any of previous Greyhawk uh, documentation, so whenever, G whenever the GM feels like it, and two, any occasion in which the GM feels like saying it's going to happen. So well, I can I, mean, I can identify two times a year it's going to happen. Otherwise, I'm wrong when I tell you. Oh, by uh, the way, as you can well, try, you can try in about two and a half weeks, maybe. But emphasis on try. As well, are uh, any of our uh, newly found and newly freed fr from their captors uh, individuals in need of rest while we move? Because I can help with that as well. Well, he's been chanting a ritual for the last hour and a half, so... And we have, like, the four other lizard, lizard folk here, too, so... I, yeah, those are, so those are dead. The, they are dead. The ones that came in that were chained, those are dead. The, no, uh, the ones that were oh. with the... Uh, the ones that were serving the giant snake guy oh, that yeah, got yeah, released. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but they're... 
you know, I mean, they have spears, I suppose, and they're clutching them. Mm -hmm. um, that's about it. Um, yeah, they're not like they... the orcish text subjects that we found beneath our own keep. If uh, Well, if somebody wishes it for a period of time, I can create a bit of a floating platform that uh, that can carry quite a lot of weight. Are you talking about some sort of floating disc? I suppose so. I'm feeling a bit tense. <laughs> I'm feeling tenser. But I'm... Oh. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist. Tenser about what? This floating disc? So, uh... He finishes, if I'm saying it's like, but... But I'm, I am done. It is, um... Uh, the best I can do. The promise has been fulfilled. It seems like you did an all right job. Overall, how are you feeling? Uh, with a terrible headache. Oh. You, I... you don't all know what it means to be mentally manipulated for hours on end. Yes, I do. I was taught to be a noble and greyhawk. <laughs> I... He looks at you with a kind of disgust. That <laughs> if this man had a weapon in his hand, you know, you would be rolling wood. Yep, yep, yeah. yep. yep. Yeah. But he does not have a weapon in his hand. Uh, or much of any instrument, really. Uh, uh, jokes about hands. Yes. To the two people of the No Hand Club. Either way, I think it is best that we uh, get back to the forest as soon as we can. Right. Though there's still plenty maybe to do here if we're interested in freeing the people. Or we could we should go attempt home. to return home. Yeah, we should attempt to return home. The only people that are here are the these uh snake folk. Now I... well, there is the moment the uh the aspect of the triangulus that I was tracking. Don't need to worry about that anymore. Let's go excuse home. Me? No 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 excuse me, excuse, excuse me. What did you just say? I said, let's go home. No, you said something before that. Please something tell us more about I this said, aspect of about the what? <laughs> no, you said you didn't have to worry about that anymore. Well, Explain if you heard yourself. me, why were you asking? Because I want clarification. Okay. I said you don't have to worry about that anymore. Exactly. <laughs> yes. What do you meant by that? What do I meant by that? Clearly not raised in Greyhawk. Okay. You don't have to worry about that anymore. It's pretty self-explanatory. It's been like, handled. How was it handled? Is Through that the, the one expertise that we... of top men. I was, you I'm could explain finished. the mechanics of this. I may not be capable to understand what's Oh, I'm pretty happening. sure you'll understand. I just don't feel it's worth discussing with a stranger well, I... that I've just met. Well, you might notice he's missing a hand now. And when when he says that, he's like, oh. Actually, no, at this point, I wouldn't be missing a hand. I have a gloved hand. Oh, he, he has some bones and a glove. Here, Gar, yes. catch. Can't throw one rock, third, second rock. <laughs> I can catch bad, both. I can catch both. It's mentally controlled. It's Literally, I'm thinking about what my hand has to do every time I want to do it. He stands back and says, Would anybody care to um, explain what happened? There was a battle that we took place in. Yeah. One where we fought a, ma a creature of magic some kind with a hand. And, well... Honestly, the only other person I think who can explain it would be your uh, your your protege at this point. Because if I remember correctly, um, you were there. Is that correct? Yeah, there was a wizard of some sort with a glove type thing, and there was a floating eyeball being with a a triangle symbol. So, you know, the wizard was the one that had the track. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Correct statements in post. Yes. Um, and they were both uh, 
killed. Uh, was I there for when Gar put his hand in the fucking blood? No. You were there from when he ripped it off. Yeah. Left. Everybody was there. Because okay. you and, had run out. Uh, was basically the point yeah. where I had come teleported okay. back and started reaching out for the snake. And yeah. um, someone... Someone ripped the hand off the guy and was also probably possessed by something. Also, the turtle also has a triangle. I don't know if he still does. Turtle. Close enough. I can read lips, you son of a bitch. Fuck you. It's Come at me, bro. It happens. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to talk and to you about that eventually. pretty much what I know. So he turns to Gar and says, so you had the triangulus. This man is neither a bear nor a cat. Yeah, the bear is gone and so is the cat. <laughs> Rest in peace. You yes, to... I had two of them at one point, and now they're gone. And you try to Fun have conversation. Handle, and have the hand of Vecna, which you apparently do not have anymore. Correct. Well, look at you. You're answering your own questions now. The question is how then did you dispose of these things? It's very important to know. I've been tracking these things for a very long time. It is no Most... longer in the realm of the material. You do not need to worry about it. It will coalesce again at some point in the future. Then you can hunt it down again. Be my guest. Let's go home. Yes, it's a good idea, Gar. Thank you. Well, I suppose now that we've shared at least what, we, was, um... what happened, could you tell us what this triangulus is? To my understanding, there's a member of this, there's a secretive organization within an already secretive organization. Uh, I'm speaking of the Black Brotherhood, which is a splinter group of, and this is apparently not very imaginative on the, on the part, the Scarlet Brotherhood. The, there have been many rumors for decades now that the Scarlet Brotherhood watches, worships is the dark entity known as uh, Thaddeus Doom. The Lord of Entropy and Obliteration, also known as the Elder Elemental Eye, in many of its forms. I was tracking them, hoping to stop whatever it is that they were doing here. Well, not here specifically, but in the uh, in the lands of the planets. Um. The Suel, at least the wicked houses that follow the way of the Scarlet Brotherhood, have been enemies of my people for millennia. And I fear that they will use these powers to eventually try to reestablish their wicked Imperium. The last time they tried, or the last time the Imperium existed, was the time of the Twin Cataclysms. In fact, it was the Twin Cataclysms, as far as I understand them, that destroyed many of my people as well as the Suel. So I try to avoid or to stop it from happening again. Now, how is the Lord of Secrets involved in all this? I'm not really sure. But if the Black Brotherhood is searching for well, whatever they're searching, it cannot be good. Well, sadly, uh, sadly, I was... Uh, Taken prisoner, most of my party was killed. Uh, sacrificed to the to the Yanti's dark gods. And I managed to escape, but fell into the clutches of the spirit spirit Nada. Saved my life, but made me a slave to the creature. Where can we find more of these members? Members of what? Of this Black Brotherhood you speak of. Well, we found them here. We found them there. They, they are spread around uh, the area known as the Wild Coast. And they seem to have strong connections to the Pomarge. Uh, my sources said that there was a uh, 
failed rebellion by these members of the of the Black Brotherhood against their leadership of the uh, Scarlet Brotherhood, and they were either fled or or made exiled uh, from their lands, and many of them uh, came to the Pomarch, perhaps seeking brief refuge with the orcs. I also seen their their crafts as well, weird creatures of war uh, that, uh, that the Scarlet Brotherhood uh, creates. It seems to me that uh, that they share these secrets with the young team. They Although did. I do not know that I don't know the specifics of their alliance or allegiance. As it's well. They did have a large snake creature down there with several circles of uh, blood uh, and they were restraining the snake some kind of ritual though I'm before, not sure spe the specific purpose before I was captured I, I was doing we were doing observation and research of these young team to see if they pose any danger to the people uh, to the north. They seem to worship competing deities of necromancy, death, and those, all, all of them, of course, have uh, uh, connections or express themselves as serpents. I've come to believe that they're all facets of one being, the world serpent. Exactly what would the Black Brotherhood, what with that, ultimately, I have no knowledge. But, again, such a creature, were to, if it were to exist, would be extremely powerful. I would dare say that by the very name, it would be primordial. Well, if it's such a being, is it connected to creation or destruction? One of the same. In that you... case, may, maybe bringing it back leads to the destruction of what is currently known in Rebirth. Well, I do not know about Rebirth. I also know that the members of the cult of Thaddeus Doom will come to believe that if they destroy the world, and their master, if they free their master, he will destroy the world and remake it in pure perfection. And of course, they will be reborn, reborn, uh, reborn in such a world as perfect immortal beings. Utter and complete stupidity. But that's, that is what they believe. My research has been difficult, as many of the sources I found, well, are dangerous unto themselves. Prohibited books, um, old chants, etc., etc. Stuff that's, if not you want to be careful, can drive one person mad. And there's also the warning that anything that mentions the Lord of Entropy has a habit of make of weakening the barriers that keep him from our world, which makes it very difficult in turn to investigate and fight his forces, such as they are. But I suggest that yes, we vacate the city immediately. I am very tired and we need a place, secure place to rest. We will not find it here. Uh, as far as I know, there's competing factions and I'm sure the other factions are now prepared to uh, to take advantage of the situation here. Oh, most likely. We have a camp outside the city already. We'll return there and we'll reorganize ourselves. That'd Please lead the way. <clears throat> By the way, uh, lessons. Do you want to set that uh, that future date to the next uh, Luna uh, cycle change? Yes. Because that basically falls within the two or at the two and a half week mark. It'll be the new uh, Luna. Uh, phase, the first Luna phase, I think. Yeah, Luna first phase. That's also the Day of Remembrance for those of you observing. 
Wow. There you go. They remember it's dedicated to those who died defending liberty. So you go outside of the city itself. Uh, you do see movement in the central figure, cigarettes that I mentioned before. So yeah. apparently, yes, they are preparing to uh, uh, to do battle. And there's a flame that it's burning ever bright, and it's not burning even brighter, uh, almost like a like a beacon or a, or a lighthouse. Uh, whatever it is that they're doing has to do something with this flame. Right. It's time to get out of here for now. Yes. Yep. Let's put you in that uh, in the camp, which is in the outside the city. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the map, which map? in the guarded pass. Yeah. Is that actually the same location? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. You guys, uh, that's fine. Yeah, it was in the um, pass. When we get back to the camp, uh, well. If everyone else needs 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 to get some shut eye, I can stay up. I will continue to read through my uh, my manuscript, and uh, I should be fine. Very well. Well, let's all get some rest then. I'm gonna have older been standing next to my sleeping body because <laughs> I don't trust uh, the new guy. Well, before you go to bed, I want to actually talk to you. Mm. There we go. While I'm not actively paying attention, I have a passive perception of 24. So, yeah, apparently <laughs> we like both have observant. So. Your tails. Yeah. Yep, both have observant, and you can probably understand more languages than I can. So your read lips is superior. I oh, have, have. Wait, wait, wait. Four. You have wisdom of five, right? So I have. He I has have plus expertise. Three. That's where the math goes so, wonky. Yeah, so I have uh, wisdom of plus three, oh, yeah. but I have expertise that in per- in perception. So yeah. I have a plus nine to my to my to my perception, mm-hmm. plus a plus five to my passive perception because of observant. But it's only passive, right? Yes. Yeah. So that's why it's in pa- like I would that's why I would probably pick up anything juicy, but like it's not I'm not actively listening into, into the conversation. It just means just take ten is twenty four or whatever, and that if he were rolled, there's a chance he could get below that, but probably not. Yeah. Well, I mean I don't really care if he hears it or not. I actually just What's need that? To you wanna kill the new guy? <laughs> Like effectively, I am I I am the perfect person to be have on watch, because I don't need to sleep, and I and I doubt people are going to be surprising me. And that's when the invisible teleporting uh, minotaurs killed us all. Hey, damn minotaurs! If if we die, if we die to invisible teleporting minotaurs, I'm fine with that. (laughs) Damn minotaurs! Always ruining everything, always destroying mazes. Anyways, yeah. get to it, Lael. I was about to go to sleep. What do you want? Tell me, what do you know about this black uh, cult that they spoke of? Because I've seen you have the same symbol. I don't have any symbols. I'm naked. Not anymore. Well, yeah, I'm wearing a glove. You got me. <laughs> I'm. I'm asking just gently, what do you know? Please tell me. You know what? Maybe I'll tell you when we get back home. I will hold you to that, then. Yes, you hold me to that maybe. That solid maybe that I just gave you. And uh, you see Lael kind of gritting his teeth for a little bit there. Don't you look at me that way, Lael. I've seen how your family died. I saved you from a nightmare. Get off my back. You just see him gritting his teeth, and he uh, walks away. And he's going to go find like a little place in the corner where it's nice and dark, and he's going to try and pray to uh, Tianj and all that stuff again. I guess that's a wisdom or something? Yeah. Or, or religion? 
I mean, simple prayers, it's just praying. That's it. Because there's a specific downtime action for like a week worth of prayer if you actually wanted to contact your deity. Yeah, I we obviously don't have a week to do that right now. So Oh, no, not if you want to get home. So, well, I'm just going to do the prayers to the deity for now. Yeah, I imagine Gar has like three or four hours of him just messing around with his new hand, getting the hang of it. There you go. Getting learn Again, you to get explain things. how this is working is that I'm actually burning an animate dead every day to have a skeleton hand that operates the same way. Uh, by the way, uh, this is something that uh, Barakat asked about. If you could divert in order to hunt a harpy. Yeah. I did ask about that. Did you ask about that? Oh, that's right. At the end of last session. Now I remember. Yep. <laughs> and we all said, yeah. Yeah. How long <laughs> was that going to take? I mean, it was going to take less than... How long did well, it take us to get here from where the portal is? They're, they're in these mountains, so we're in the right place already. Right, right. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, this is knowledge that we would all have. How long did it take us to get here from uh, the portal? About three or four sessions. Yeah, that's not days. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not out of character. Uh, March, though. I want to it was say like just. Days. It was just under like. It was a week to like four days into a week. Yeah, but do take. But maybe. but take but take into account we had Hugh who vastly sped up the travel. Right, right. Well, no, you, you scout, Hugh scouted ahead and was able to do all this stuff ahead of us. Uh, the travel back, if we just followed the same path, shouldn't take that long. Well, I say the same path. We did, like, detour a couple of times, so. And it's more the fact of, like, Hugh had advantage for, for the survival, avoiding things, could speak with things to figure it out, like, those little things are gone, which is why I'd bump it up to the time that we have. Yeah, at the same time, I can fly. I really just want to get home. I am like, tired of this place. This is not very good experience for Gar. What's the oh. final answer about how long will it take, and how long does that give us to do other things? Marcus can get back way quicker than everybody else if he really wants to, but he's not. But he doesn't want to. How fast is the group? Come on. Okay, let's put you back into here are all the pins. Um, yeah. Yeah, but how was it like two pins was a day? Is that what we said before? Yeah. Two, two, we were doing two day. pins a day, but that yeah. but that was because of Hugh. Well, I don't remember it being because of Hugh. I remember we argued a couple of times about this. All I remember is that Hugh kept going away <laughs> for hours at a time. We were also exploring, <laughs> which increased the time yep. a lot. Where are? Why are we? There's no pins yep. connecting to where we are. Oh, that's right, because we explored every hex around us. Yeah. Because the last hex so, we explored was the place. You're supposed to be here. Let me. Uh... There. Okay. So sixteen. This is. So literally, we have to get there with all oh. the time we have remaining. Well, no, because if we're not exploring, we can do two a day. We were no, we were doing two a day. Two a day was our already what we were doing. Well, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Also, these are already pre-explored hexes now. So yes. if, if Hugh's advantage was that, that's what Hugh has left us with. Yep. Yeah. So if you're saying 16 days, let me just look over here at the calendar. Oh, One, 16 two, hexes three, anyway. Four. Oh, so oh, that'd 16, be 8 days. 8 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. All right, that would leave us one, two, three, four, five days of hunt a harpy time. Okay, so what we Assuming could do... Assuming no problems. Yeah, so what we could do is we could take the path that we originally took. Before we leave, detour, go for... Uh, do some harpy hunting. Then go. Actually, make that four days of harpy hunting because we're basically most way through the day that we were already on. So I still have to change one day for it. Yeah. I mean, we're in the right place, so if we do it in like two days, we're fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the faster the better, because who knows what's going to fuck us yeah. up on the way back. The problem is just like actually fighting them, because they can fly. 
and that's, certain that's people right. in this party cannot. Yeah, so we, we have, have, have range. Lail fly flying, and he'll knock it out of the yeah. air. I was gonna say you could just do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just punch one a lot. Should only need like one, maybe two. Because I'm pretty sure none of us came with a net. Um, why are we going after harpies? Was that ever explained? Because Barricade asked us to. Because I asked you to. That's oh. pretty much the only reason I've given so far. That's what we do around here. Someone asks us to do something. <laughs> April actually looks at you and is like, Avendi, can we have a word? And he leans in and, you know, with his long hair, he actually covers his face. Uh, uh, what do you need a heart before, if I may be curious? Strings. Ah. So you're finally bringing your ultimate instrument, aren't you? I'm working on a thing, yeah. Yes, this is important then. Also, killing monsters is always a good thing. I I don't exactly know how to feel about it yet, but... They play on intelligent beings, so you shouldn't worry much. I meant about having a new instrument. It's... Mm -hmm. I mean... You know, my current one has been through a lot, and it has some very sentimental appeal. <laughs> but Not too I'm working on a project nonetheless. The listen men who are your you, you reconnect with your listen men that are your guides, and you know that nearby, when you came in, there was a large camp uh, with and and uh, which they uh, the 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 hobgoblins actually the hobgoblins built a camp um, with defenses like they they put up stakes they uh, put up makeshift walls they have patrols you know they have people guarding it's like. Uh, apparently, they had entrenchment tools and were able to build trenches and the like relatively quickly. I mean, there were a lot of them as well, uh, and that's where they are. And they're keeping their distance. So you see them, they see they. You see, you see them, they see you, but uh, they're keeping their distance. But they are following. As um, per your as per your agreement, I think I might remember this correctly. It's Justin, but this is something I'd probably know if I've been in this space the time I have. Um, lizard folk, do they speak abyssal? No. Okay. They only speak draconic. Got it. I know there's something... If, if not lizard folk, there's something very similar that abyssal's one of their languages. So. Is that that giant frog thing? I can't remember their name. I think, I think that does as well, but that's not what I'm thinking about. You know, the ones that come in different colors and the colors signify things about them. Oh, those, uh, those, I don't think so. That's what you're thinking about, I think. Yeah, my problem is I have the level of knowledge about these things that a character would, so it's like, um, I don't I know what they're exactly they're what... frogs, their colors. I know exactly what you're speaking on, they're, uh, yeah, I don't think, I, 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 I could, I think I could talk to them, but not with Abyssal. There are a lot of giant, intelligent frogs, so. Yeah, but these are specifically extra-dimensional. Oh, uh, yeah, no. That would be the slotty. That's it. That's it. Oh, if it's if it's them, yes. Sorry, I was thinking. I, I, I was thinking Grung. Yeah, you, you don't want to meet a slotty right now. Oh gosh, no. <laughs> I don't know. There's level slotties that uh, are we we over level some slotties. They usually don't well, not them. all, of course. Well, I think we've dealt with enough uh, random denizens of the jungle today. Well, not so, yet. We're looking for a harpy. Uh, the listen men uh, say, well, they, they, the, uh, they point to the mountains where you are. Yeah, remember that the, the city is in a valley between a river valley between the mountains. And so they say, you know, there might be some nest on our way out. 
In fact, they were the ones who warned you that if you took the mountain passes over land, one of the dangers was harpy attacks. So, oh. Uh, well, time to incite a bunch of birds then. Yeah, well, always use protection. Don't want to get harpies. Well, yeah. we, also do, we also do need to worry about food. So if we do get a harpy, I may have I have the means to make it edible if it is a monstrosity. What? He's going I've to been cook the harpy. Cook harpy? No, not cook. Or like you know, harpies are disgusting, right? Like they I throw can shit purify at you. it. Harpies are like the monkeys of the air. I, I okay. have been living off of whatever I can find, and I've purified at my meals constantly. I'm I I have just done what I what I had to. Okay, everybody, well, I guess put might. yourselves here. Uh, uh, which side did you ping? Top or bottom? The top. Okay. Top got it. Um, I'm also going to do a quick little retcon for my, for my appearance. Um, one of my eyes is actually a aquamarine. Like oh. the stone. What's that? Oh, is it an actual aquamarine, not the color aquamarine? Yep. Okay. So you, have a, you basically have a fake eye. Uh, it's, yeah, it's my arcane focus. No weeb needs today. Uh, it's going to be real painful when we get robbed in the middle of the <laughs> night. <laughs> no more uh, kidnapping kicks. Now it's all going to be at stealing your eye. The, the so what is the marching order? Just pulling out the stone. What is the marching order? Front. Boop. Okay. I'd be sauntering. I'd be. I'd, I'd be sauntering in the back. As much yeah, as I'd be. I'll be near front as well. How far down is this, by the way? Oh, a three wide bridge. Uh, it's about an excess of two hundred feet. Yeah, I was gonna say, are these uh oh. like tiny little plants, or are those the tops of gigantic trees? Those are the top of the jungle type of trees. Yes. Uh. Unfortunately, it doesn't. It's not far enough. That conversation I was having a chat earlier. If it was five hundred and one feet, that'd be great. <laughs> well, it's enough to max out uh, damage, basically. Well, no, no, the yeah, I know, I know, instantaneous versus I read, I read it, I read it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's say Eight one chance to cast fly. Uh, how much could Olerbrin cushion the fall? Just falling eighty-three and a third feet per second. That is the uh, marching order. Sure. Uh, that's horrible. We should do better. Well, I don't yeah, remember I'll... one person, one single person saying, "I test the bridge to see how sturdy it is." Everyone just hunters out there. It, it's a rope bridge. So yeah. it my... is swaying, swaying on the wing. It's an old what? rope bridge out here by itself, covered in moss, by the way, which can't be good for the ropes or the wood. With my passive, how does it look? Uh, if you're careful, it will. It will. You will actually no. I mean, your passive. You. That's the thing. The passive will not. Passive investigation. Um. Yeah, my passive investigation is still a sixteen. It looks sturdy enough. I mean, mine's like if, a nineteen if, if, too. So if you, ours combined. If you're, if you're careful, yes. I recommend investigation take, combined. taking it easy. On this uh, bridge, not rushing, not running. All right. I don't. I, I can't save you all if you fall. I might be able to help one, but that's about it. I'll be okay. Even your slow fall will not save you from. Oh, how far? Oh, it's two hundred feet down. Okay, never yeah. mind. I won't be okay, so I don't see yeah. that. Yeah, so okay, when you get there, you get there. Uh, for those who have passive perception of 15 or higher, you start seeing this coming from both sides. That's me. Coming from both sides, you say? Yeah, That's going to be difficult. Sides. I'm literally on the edge of this one map. Oh, you meant both sides of that. Yeah. Wait, didn't we parlay with this guy? You know, these are giant vultures. God, my eyesight is so bad. Yeah. 
Those are definitely vultures. Do yeah, they're two hundred feet tall rhinos or very large? Are are vultures native in the jungle? Vultures are native anywhere that stuff dies. Are you talking about the ecology of a fantasy world? <laughs> this is the shit I think of, man, all the time. Are you asking if these giant vultures are native to this area? Yes. Yes, he is. Found the harpies. Among them are also harpies. Yeah. See, I don't know Quite remember... I don't remember what D and D harpies are like, but I just know general fantasy harpies like hurl insults and literally throw shit at you. So basically, very similar in description, at least. They're like hags mixed with apes. Jeez. That's a great women, explanation. They are more women-like in these, uh, you know, these images, but still. So. Uh... Any uh, anybody who doesn't have a uh, perception of fifteen must roll a uh, perception check. Okay. Hey, I see. It has eyes. I don't. Layla I don't does see. not have eyes. Yeah, Layla, you're like you're balancing. So you, everybody will roll uh, initiative, but you will go in the next initiative, basically. Oh, joy. Put the initiative tracker on. Hey, I basically go in the next initiative anyway. <laughs> should I should I roll initiative now just to get it over with? Or you have to. That according to the rules, yes, you have to. Oh, let me click on one of the giant pictures. How do I want to do this? Oh yeah, <laughs> I guess you at the. The situation, Marcus, where you want to keep one spell slot open, right? Yes, especially because we're we're dealing with stuff that's flying. Yeah, well, I mean, since you have two spell slots, you got to hold on to one for slow fall, just in case, right? Oh no, not slow fall. No, okay. I I have another way out of it. Teleport. I, mean, I have a way out of yeah. it. Well, yeah, but the idea being is that you don't have a reaction to cast it. Or is it a reaction to teleport? Oh, Misty Step? Is that what you're talking about? No, I have Thunder Step. Sorry, I'm not trying to play your hand before it comes out. I'm just, like, it's guessing. Guessing is yeah, my like, thing. I, I have Thunder Step. I don't even know that spell. If it comes up, you'll see. That's why, that's why I keep going with the 500 foot thing, is that if I don't have a, a full action to cast it, which I wouldn't if I'm already falling, I'm just dead. That harpy art looks pretty good. That's the base harpy art, too. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this harpy right here, by the way, is still between... Uh... It is still between four squares, yeah. Um, movement is... This is the one on the left, too. Oh, shit. Barricat jumped. He jumped. Still right here. He's on the bridge. On the bridge. Right there. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, everybody here. This one. Oh, wow. The ones on front 